Ah, splinters, any protrusion. Ooh, going for a run. I'm not gonna try and stress them out too much. Ooh, bleeding a little bit there. Congrats on your successful worm farm, Uncle Ben. Fortnite bucket? <laughs> My quit. This is what everyone does, right? They all deworm the animals that they trap. Is that Poppy? Ah, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. This is my son, Kevin, and this is my son, Pog. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a little something special. Looks like we got Poppy in the trap over there. We're gonna go ahead and get her and check her out, see how her babies are doing. Gonna move these little guys over into the big flight pen. I'm gonna get all of the healthy ducks that don't need any kind of treatment, and we're gonna take them straight to Waco today. And if you guys are lucky, I might just take you on a little trip. But also look at Morgan. Morgan's still having little problems with his foot. Please pray for Morgan. I don't know if you guys remember this, but last night Poggers was in this yard, so he must have jumped over that little fence there and gotten into the kevin yard hey kevin don't make me get the lid okay on today's spar with kevin we're gonna try two different things i'm gonna go ahead and put on this helmet and see if he gets scared of booga 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 okay it doesn't really work so mayhaps i will try both the mask and this little thing please don't bite me please don't ah freaking all right that's it I can't even open it I'm bleeding, even with the mask. Look at this. What's wrong, Kevin? You can't get through there, buddy? He is pretty dumb. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk right through here. Quick little top. It doesn't really seem to work at all. Okay, I'm just gonna charge through there and push him right in the chest. Oh, there he is, there he is. All right, that works. One hit, that's all it takes. Now I chased after him a little bit. See if we can get him in that other yard. I don't want him to turn around and keep attacking me. All right, he's gonna be fine. Okay, now let's take a look at our little poppy girl here. See how she's doing. That's surprising, nothing got this trap. Ooh, bleeding a little bit there. As you can see, my worm thing is just freaking thriving, you guys. Look at this. I had no idea it would be this good in health. I'm essentially farming whatever kind of larva this is, and I'm doing a very, very good job of it. So thank you, thank you. You guys go ahead in the comments and say, congrats on your successful worm farm, Uncle Ben. Thank you. We didn't get anything in this guy. Is that Poppy? It might not be. Properties, is this you, my little little queen where are your baby yeah that's poppy I'm pretty sure i can tell that this is poppy just because she's not really freaking out much morgan is still limping over there heaven don't make me throw poppy in a cage at you i'll do it poppy in a cage poppy in a cage let's take a look at this little guy that's quite the little raspberry there like i said earlier guys this is what i do with all the animals that i trap legally with a permit i go ahead and i give them deworming solution because i care about them and i love them <laughs> This is what everyone does, right? They all deworm the animals that they trap. It's just the right thing to do, guys. All right, by the time we get back from Waco, she should have all that dewormer in her system, and then she'll be ready to be re-released. Hello, Olive. I'm gonna go ahead and give a little bit of this water to her. Mr. Pog, would you like to come with me to Waco today? The rest of this water, I put some vitamin supplements in here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that there. Are you guys really hunters and trappers even if you don't catch and deworm your... <laughs> All right, I have the ducks in this boat in the pog right here. And this is why I'm moving out of Austin. Look how terrible this traffic is on a Sunday. Now this is epic. Seems that there's a building on fire. That building do be on fire though. All right, everybody, we're back in Waco. Get out of my car, sir. And check this out. Looks like our little friend decided to move. Hello, Shelob. Welcome back. Oh, you're wobbling a little bit there, queen. So in order to drive the bus in here, I'm going to have to unplug this. Also, this is a huge fire hazard. My queen, must move your web over back there. All right, so I finally have someone scheduled to come by and pick up all of this brush and trash that's going to happen in the next couple weeks. Fellers from Rise Up Refuse are going to be doing that. Thank you, guys. Love you. Also, they're going to be taking these things. We're going to be paying for that. They're giving us a really Really good deal they said they can't take the ones with the rims but yep 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 so as you can see uh they cut the grass over here which is great hopefully they didn't kink any of the hose or the wire or anything like that that would be bad but now that this is done we can go ahead and just put the trailer right here we really don't need grass here and this grass is going to take a while before it rejuvenates that way we don't need to run as much electricity over a big cord to the back we could also put the trailer right back here and then we could easily just hook it right up to the sewer here this is the sewer and that way johnny can make poopies in the trailer yeah all we'd have to do is just plug that hose in there and then do the black water and the gray water and just wash right in there. just a quick update uh that is all scheduled to be removed so are the tires 
This is all scheduled to be fixed. I finally found a contractor, one of Tito's friend. Thank the Lord. There really isn't all that much to do. It just needs to get done, you know? Okay, here's our little Decorinos. As you can see, they have... Oh, calm down. They got beautiful, beautiful eyes. Look at their beautiful blue eyes. Guys, here it is, the moment of truth. There's Kyle over there. I can't wait to introduce Kevin back to Kyle because they were actually, uh, they grew up together. All right, guys, you ready to meet your siblings? These are actually the siblings of these guys, except for that one. That one is not a sibling. He's just an old ruffian. But all these little guys were all from the same clutch. So they're all gonna recognize each other. Having said that, I do think that these two males that are going to fight. So let's see how this, how this plays out. Okay, this is them meeting. Well, things seem to be going pretty well. As you can see, that is uh, leaking. So that's great. We probably lost a lot of water doing that. Argus is over there following Kyle around. I'm going to go ahead and close this and fix that. Yeah, Uncle Ben went out and splurged a little bit and got a table so people can eat here. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the water off at the house. All right, everybody. Just spoke with our friend who's going to help us pick up some of the slack on getting stuff done in that house. And these guys all seem to be very happy. I'm going to go ahead and feed them all a little bit more. So it would seem that Kyle is still just a little teensy bit scared of people. He still kind of walks this fence line as if he's gonna find his way out through there. And Poggers immediately ran up to him to be like, hello, sir, how are you? I'm not gonna try and stress him out too much, but I am gonna try my best to kind of herd him back there to where the ducks are. But yeah, it looks like he's eating the food over there, which is good. And these little boys have their food. Okay, this is pretty good here. I'm gonna make Johnny go ahead and clean up the rest of this stuff. And by the time I come back here and film this stuff, if he doesn't do it, I'll do the rest. This all will be real organized, neat, and clean. Come, let's watch the rain as it's falling down. Look at Karen sitting over there. Sunlight on her skin when I'm not around. All right, guys, we're back. So the only things I have left to do now is just go ahead and move all the ducks into there and go to Home Depot and get something that can fortify that area there so the Poggers doesn't keep jumping in here because that's what Poggers does. Oh, looks like we trapped a chicken. All right, you little doobus. All right, let's go ahead and let you out of there. Come on. Come on, you gotta come out. All right, everybody. I'm in this bus by myself and I just got this amazing little kennel and we're gonna use the rest of this uh, in Waco whenever we get stuff set up. But for now, we're just gonna use one or two panels to kind of fortify Pogger's little yard. Well, 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 well. Never thought I'd see the day when layer pellets is just 11.79 again. <laughs> happy day, happy day. Wait a minute, why is cracked corn more expensive than layer pellets? Fortnite bucket? <laughs> so we're at the tank in Cabela's and check this out. One of the bass spawned and all of these little babies are swimming around. Now there's just millions of these tiny little guys, but they're all gonna get eaten eventually. Uncle Ben has caught every one of these fish. There's a little buffalo, there's a little common car. There's a nice channel cat or maybe a blue catfish. Either way, I've caught both of them. There's a red drum, which is an ocean fish, but oftentimes they can be in fresh water. There's a melanistic alligator gar, and believe it or not, I've actually caught one of those too. There's some hybrids or sunshine bass or wipers people call. That is a thick bluegill. I'm gonna end this video by showing you guys all the fish that I've caught. Caught it, 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 caught all these, caught these, caught these, caught these, grab this one's mouth, caught these, caught this, caught that, caught that, caught it, caught it, caught both of these. Okay, Kevin's in this yard now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and gently lock this gate before he... Oh gosh, very good. Now we have Karen and Kevin back there again, the way things are supposed to be. Kevin, I love you, <laughs> I love you. Now we got Mr. Pog. Now we're gonna take him to this yard so he doesn't bother all of these adorable little ducks while we're treating them. Whoa, was that hit rapper and handsome man, the baby? Okay, so it's clear that Poggers keeps climbing up over this thing, gets on here and then he gets on the barrel and then he just jumps over like an idiot. I'm gonna take another one of these panels and zip tie it up here. All right, now we have this Poggers proof wall. For him to get over that, he'd literally have to just jump onto the roof of this, which I don't think he'll do. In theory, he could also hop on this and then hop on that and then get over that way, but I don't think he's going to do that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and gently remove the baby from the fun yard. Ooh, going for a run. Look at this adorable man. Oh no, come on, come on, but knows the grass is always greener on the other side. Look at this adorable baby in her little cave. And now that Kevin is safe behind bars, I can go ahead and start moving these little guys into their flight pen. Kevin, buddy, you gotta calm down, man. This is our little baby with the messed up legs, so let's take a closer look. It's actually only been one day and he's already showing pretty major signs of improvement, as you can see. Look at that. He's already being able to walk upright. That's insane. I do think with him, the major 
major issue was simply diet. So I'm gonna keep him on a low calorie, low carb diet while he heals. And I'm gonna make sure they get plenty of niacin and other minerals that are gonna help them with bone growth. This is one of our little angel wing babies. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put him in there. And there's our little messed up neck baby. I'm gonna be really careful with him. All right, with little guys like this, you wanna just gently feel the vertebrae and gently feel the neck. What's wrong with it? Are there any breaks? Are there any clear protrusions? This guy, I believe, just formed this way. And I'm gonna do some more research and call a vet friend of mine, but I'm pretty sure this is just from lack of nutrition. Regardless, this little guy seems pretty healthy other than the fact that his neck is completely crooked. As for this little angel wing fella, the only issue is that uh, she or he won't be able to fly. But because they're farm ducks, that really doesn't matter at all. Darcidius is going to have to be outside because I'm afraid that he's going to start humping them. But let's see if we can get a close-up look at Morgan's foot. Ooh, this hammock's starting to get real nasty. All right, let's take a close-up look at his foot. Come on in. Now, ducks and waterfowl do not like being on their back, but for this in purpose, it's, it's very necessary. We're going to take a close look at this foot. What's wrong with it? Do you see any splinters, any protrusions, any breaks in the bone? You don't see any there. All right, let's take a look at this one. Any breaks, any splinters, any protrusions? No, I don't really see anything that stands out. Do you guys? Let me know in the comments. I don't see anything standing out here. If you guys see anything, please let me know in the comments. This is what we're working with. This is what one foot looks like. They're moving just fine. I don't see any issues on the top or the bottom, but I could be wrong. Often I am. And then we're gonna look at this one. I see no issues at the top or bottom. It doesn't seem to feel tender for him whenever I press on it. it doesn't seem to feel tender. It certainly doesn't seem to be Bumblefoot, but he also doesn't like to walk on it. So let's get a little shot of him walking. What do you guys think that that could be? We're gonna take him to the vet pretty soon because I can't figure it out. Looks like he's favored that left leg. So what's important for Morgan now is restricted mobility away from her lover which is this beautiful man. You know, it might've just been something where she got hurt when she was walking on those boys. Oh, and here I am giving Vinny all the leafy greens. <laughs> Look, there's my little baby. I gave her a little extra today. Look at this perfect baby girl. Ah!